To answer your question, when do I usually start? Usually around now. Uh, first, let's do a sound check. How's everyone doing today? This is the first time we are streaming on YouTube. That's right, we are kind of getting away from Twitch. Am I sounding all right? How's everyone doing today? Welcome to the stream. All right. <laughs> Welcome. Um, so this is how things are going to go. Today we are going to paint all these M4s. Uh, we're going to paint them solid black. And we have another set of M4s, which we will be painting a parkerized black. And then when we get to the giveaways, I think it's going to happen every 20 minutes is what I said. So around 520, we will randomly pick someone in chat. Uh, as long as you're active in chat, let's keep that real. If you're active in chat, then you, you, yes, you will be getting one of the Gunther GSG custom printed guns. And I'm going to paint it right here on stream. Um, the first one we're going to do is the scorpion the cz scorpion then we're going to move up to the g36 next is the ak-74u and the last two winners um, we might just well if we can get to it like i said these might take a while when it comes to the m4s we're just going to paint these a solid color we're going to do this as fast as we can uh and then we're going to go to these and we'll we'll see how far we can take the stream if we want to go past like an hour or two, then we'll go past an hour or two so we can paint the winner's guns. By the way, the last two are going to be the SVD Druganov and the M16A3 with an M203 grenade launcher. That's right. Uh, already that's painted is the ACR. This is also going to be thrown into the mix. Uh, but yeah, every 20 minutes we're going to be giving away a gun for you. That's right, for 112 scale. All right. Now, here's the deal with these 112 scale guns. Um, they will fit most action figures, but for some reason I noticed, and I can rescale these whenever I want to. So right now we're going to be releasing a line of little armory um, competitive, something to compete with it, right? So if you guys like little armory, this is my personal line that I'm going to compete and I've been working with GSG to make the designs and then I print out the guns, paint them for you guys, and they will be... 10 to $15 painted. That's right. 10 to $15 painted. Uh, depends. It, also, that price isn't 100% certain right now. Just because some of these will take longer. For instance, let me give you an example. When you look at the Druganov, this is definitely not going to be just a plain black. You've got to have wood and everything like that. But anyway, back to what I was talking about with the scale. If you look at Captain America here, which is a... Um, Marvel Legends cap, he works really well with the Druganov. This is scaled like everything else, right? And if you look at the M16A3, this one also works really well with cap, as you can see right here. But not all is 100% in cherry. Let's look here. The AK-74U is actually quite small on this Captain America, as well as the M4s, which I will be painting. Uh, I'm starting to think that if I'm going to continue to make these guns for you guys, I might have to do them in two scales. Usually, I try to scale them with what I have the most. Right now, it is import figures. And here is, um, trying to keep it family friendly, okay? <laughs> Here's Aqua in a swimsuit. Clearly, she works really well with this M4. I mean, look at that. That's a perfect fit right there, right? You can't, you can't beat that. That's a perfect fit right there. So I've been fitting these mostly with Figma and SH Figure Arts. This works with Spike Spiegel too. I don't have Spike with me uh, and stuff like that. But yeah, it really depends on the gun. Um, I will be doing more experiments on scale when it comes to the smaller guns like the Scorpion, the M4, the G36, and the AK-74U when it comes to figures that are more common in the United States when you are more affordable, I should say, uh, with Marvel Legends. And here is my craptacular... <laughs> First edition attempt at trying to metallicize the Mando. Uh, like I said before, he works well with certain guns, even with the G36. I think when it comes to the Star Wars Black Series, it actually is scaled somewhat smaller than Marvel Legends, somewhat. As you can see, the G36 works really well with the Mandalorian there. 
uh, but not so much the M4. So again, I have to probably rescale these. Probably gonna sell two different types, right? One for import, one for domestic. I guess they're all kind of imported, but technically speaking, but but like uh, like Marvel Legends, Hasbro, and stuff like that. I think that's what I'm planning on doing. Okay, so if you're wondering if it works, um, if you're gonna put this on a Marvel Legends, just let me know if you win. If you win. And I'll see if I can reprint it and scale it better for you. And then I'll just do it off camera, right? All right. Uh, what about Amazing Yamaguchi? Good question there, my friend. Aaron Gibson. Uh, let's see. Do I have an Amazing Yamaguchi? Give me a second. Let me go grab that right now. Also, first, I want to... Oh, speaking of... Amazing Yamaguchi. Uh, I got permission from the guy who makes custom heads for the Deku. We'll be printing those out too. I'm working on a cape so we can get a uh, drip Deku is what a lot of people on the Discord are calling him. And this is the custom uh, mast head that he print. He sent me the file. He said, yeah, go for it. Share this. Go ahead and sell it if you want. Uh, I said, yeah, cool. I'm going to paint this one day. Don't know when. Um, things are a little bit different right now. I'm going to get into that in the stream a little bit later. But yeah, well, if, if I get time, I'm going to put and paint this head. He gave me six different heads. There's one where, where it has the hood on. It looks really cool. This guy does an extremely good job, just as well as Gunther does with the guns and whatnot. So uh, back to your question. Sorry, we're getting sidetracked. To answer your question, yes, it does. As you can see, Deku with a gat right there. Bam, look at that. He's got that M16 right there. If you want the smaller guns, yeah, it does work. So if you were wondering, can I put a CZ Scorpion on your amazing Yamaguchi Deku? Yes, you can. There you go. I have proved it right there. So if you're wondering if you win one of these, um, yeah, you can use it with Deku. As you can see, it works and scales really well. Look at him. He's looking all tactical. Look at that. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's get on with the work. Let me first, but first, 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 first. Okay, let's talk. Let's go over questions. There's Ron. Hey, Ron. What's up, man? His favorite is Piccolo. Does it fit on Gunpla? Depending on the scale, um, 144, I believe, will work. So there you go. Mafex, yeah, absolutely. Mafex will work. What type of 3D printer do you use? I use a SLA resin printer. We do not use a typical printer where it just, you know, it heats up the, the filament. No, 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 no. We are taking it up a notch. As you can see, the supports on this Deku head show that it is indeed a resin printer. So that's going to be cool. You get much finer details. Uh, depends on the resin you use, obviously. I'm testing out two different resins. So the reason why we're doing this stream, um, to let you guys know, on the Discord, this is exclusively for my Discord members, so you have to be a customer of dstartoys.com, your reliable source for awesome action figures, or you gotta be a supporter on Patreon uh, to enter the Discord. I am giving away to all of my Discord members two M4s, uh, each made out of a different material and colored differently, uh, so they can sample it, see how the M4s go, if they like it. Does it scale well with all their action figures? I'm going to take that feedback, and then we're going to put that towards the line of D-Star Armory. I think that's what we're going to call it, D-Star Armory. And uh, we're going to work with that. So I'm going to go off their feedback, exclusive only to Discord members, that they're getting two M4s just because. Just because. That's right. It pays to pay D-Star. <laughs> uh, will you also be printing pistols in SMG? Of course. Of course. Um... Give me one second. I, I thought I had it in here. Give, give me a sec. I thought I had it. I have pistols. One sec. Okay, so obviously you can't have pistols unless you are tomb raiding it. So we have the Tomb Raider USPs right here, and you can akimbo Tomb Raider style 
any figure you really want, right? So there it is. Uh, GSG custom makes these two. He custom modeled these. These are gorgeous. I, I know you can't really see the details because it's not painted, but you can see everything. He even made the the little uh, grate thingies or into the compensator. So he made the, the Tomb Raider guns really perfect. And you can fit this. I think I, I scaled these to fit everything. Um, let me see if I can get Cap back into the picture. Right? So if you want Cap to be raiding tombs, you can, right? There he is. Not that he needs to. <laughs> and that looks really cool right there. This is the uh, trigger finger hand. I can't put in the, the second one in here because this is his shield holding hand. So there you go. Um, we might make the, it depends, depends, depends how far we go. If we, if we, if we keep this momentum going, how many people we have? We have 28 people. If we keep the momentum going, the more people we get, if I, if they want, I can, I can do more, do more prints, more colors and stuff like that. So yeah. And the longer we go on this stream, the more stuff we'll give away. How about that? Yeah. Okay. So let's keep going on with the question before we start painting here. Uh, I need to see a Goku Black with a rifle. Man. Uh, so here is a custom painted I did. I don't think I did this one on stream. Did I do this one on stream? On Twitch? I'm not sure. Yeah, definitely Goku Black. Let, let, let me get it. Gosh, I gotta get all these figures. Hold on. First stream, we gotta do it. Okay, so as requested, here is Goku Black. Should fit really well. So there you go. If you want him to shoot up, there you go. With a M4A1 Riz. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Let's. He goes really well. Probably. The AK 74U, personal favorite, right there. So, yeah, they fit, they work. So, pretty nice, huh? Uh, let's go over more questions. 32 people, what's up, everybody? How has your day been? So, yeah, Mafex SHF, absolutely. Body Coon, absolutely will work. What about Figma Body Rio? Absolutely. These were more or less, I scaled them more or less towards Figma SH Figure Arts. Uh, some Marvel Legends. Can you do commissions? Yes. Um, if you go to my Instagram, which is where most people message me or on my website, dstartoys.com. I'm going to say dstartoys a lot. You get it. You better get used to it. dstartoys.com. We have a messaging system there through Facebook. You can message me there. I answer fairly quickly. If you have an idea, throw it at me. I might be able to. Uh, let's see. Will it work with SciShow Collectibles? I can do what... Wrong. Good question, by the way. Um, GSG usually scaled these to be with SciShow Collectibles. So, yeah. Originally, they were one-fourth scale, and they will fit. I, I can print them whatever scale you want. Whatever you want. Obviously, you're going to have to pay a fee if you go farther. If, uh, if you go farther down the scale. Um, I print these massively, right? I printed, like, all of these... In the last two days so if you want a special one you're gonna have to message me probably have a few five five or ten bucks when these come out I'm still looking for a cheap HK UMP 45 says broken VF 1N yeah absolutely we will get that going uh, once we get more of these going patty boy will these fit GI Joe classify as you can see it does work um, with mr. Um, Captain America uh, and let's see here Ron is saying Wangs, so you can go ahead and say whatever he wants. I'm not going to repeat what he te just texted me because he wants to be on the internet. Kari Orange 675, how are you? Any thoughts of the Super Saiyan Goku Full Power? I haven't gotten it yet. I'm waiting on the American release. That's what's going on, Laser Gator. Uh, I know a lot of people have already bought 
the import version i have not unfortunately dstartoys.com will be getting a ton of these full power gokus i think i have 72 on the way so here's how you secure one to make sure you get one so you're not in that whole mess like oh i have to get it oh, i didn't get it in time the best way is to be part of the Discord, and that's to be a customer of D-Star Toys. It's just that simple. Buy something off D-Star Toys. Get the little invite card, just like you were you were in Smash Brothers, and you got an invite to Smash Brothers, and you can enter the Discord. And then when you're in the Discord, I go, hey, everyone, I got these. First come, first serve, only in the Discord. And bam, they get the first come, first serve. Everyone who is here in the Discord, welcome. Tell them how awesome it is to be there so you get first dibs on everything. So, yeah. Uh, a minigun, yes. I believe GSG has a minigun. Um, Stonk Slayer says that. Um, he does have one all planned out, ready to go. I'm, I'm kind of just working with few models right now, seeing how they work and how they look um, and stuff like that. Penguin0123, how can I enter? Thank you for asking. We are actually going to go roll the dice right now because we have hit the 20-minute mark, everybody. Let's see if this works, okay? I'm not sure if this works. This usually works on Twitch, but will it work on YouTube? I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see. All right, everyone. You know what to do. I have, let's see, since I have 22 people that are eligible for the giveaway, that's right. You got to keep the chat going. Go ahead. Spam the chat right now if you want to get into this giveaway. I'm going to give you two minutes. Two minutes right now. Put down in the chat, what is your favorite rifle? Go for it. If you want to say, go Fortnite gun, fine, Fortnite gun. If you want to say the ray gun from from uh, Call of Duty Zombies, go for it. I don't care. Put it down in the chat if you want to be part of the giveaway. First giveaway. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, I'm going to be holding it up for one more minute. One more minute. So if you haven't said anything in chat and you want to be part of the, of the giveaway of a custom painted gun by me, you got to be chatting it up for the next 30 seconds, okay? I have 23 people ready to go. That means I have 23 active chatters right now. All right, 24. Let's go. Okay, we're going to roll it in 3, 2, 1. Who is the winner? We have Michael Dancing 05. Michael Dancing 05, congratulations of the first giveaway of the day. Michael Dancing, are you there? We will be giving This is the first one. Right here, G36, right here, right? Uh, Michael Dan, let me let me write this down. I think we're gonna be, this will be going real quick, real quick. Uh. Okay. Let's write this down. I got a piece of paper. All right, there is our first winner. Congratulations, Michael. Uh, here's what you do. Go ahead in the uh, in send an email to info at dstartoys.com. Let me put that down right now. Oh, Ron, be careful. You know that you can't win. <laughs> I can print whatever you want, fool. What are you doing here? Anyway, uh, let's see here. Oh, my gosh. Michael was actually timed out. Uh, Michael Dancing, you're still going to win. Okay, you're still going to win. You're still going to win. All right. All you got to do is email. I put it down in there. It is not over if you would you said oh no i messed up oh, i didn't get it that's fine uh i'm gonna give michael one minute if you want me to paint your g36 any color you tell me right now 
because we're about to get this stream going. I know, I know, I know. We need to get stuff done. I'm not here just to talk and answer questions. We're gonna put on the Bane mask. You guys see me? No? <laughs> we're gonna put on the Bane mask and we're gonna get started, all right? So Michael, go ahead and if you want a color, let me know. Oh, all right, let's get started. Now, usually we do streams on Twitch, but I think it's time to move away from that platform because I'm just not getting anywhere on Twitch. I even tried hot tub streaming with some anime girls. That didn't work. So, can't even get in with the meta. Besides, all you guys came from here anyway. It's time to, it's time to go where you guys really are, right? So what we're doing right now, we are airbrushing um, the primer on these M4s. So we can get the paint on them. And then we're going to paint them a solid black. So no fine details will be like on these M4s. Like for instance, the magazine is actually gray. Uh, not black. But, yeah. So this is going to be simple. I'm not trying to put fine details on, on the gun. I mean, I can. But that might be for the final production version. When I start making a lot of these for you guys. Right? Again, once again, I am trying my best to compete with Little Armory. Right now, importing them can cost a lot for you for shipping fees, so I'm going to try my best to keep these under $20 when it comes to painted versions. Like, the M4 will probably be like 15 bucks, maybe 10 bucks, depends. Probably 10 bucks if I'm just going to do a single color. Because this takes time to finally detail them. But if I'm just doing, like, single colors like that, it's pretty simple, right? Look what I'm doing. Just a couple of... Um, sprays here and there and we're good So we're gonna do this one See we're already halfway done um, what do you call it? Primering these. Always use a primer whenever you're airbrushing. Keeps the paint on. Keeps it nice and durable. So the process today is we're going to prime them and then we're going to paint them the color that, that we've I've told black which is a metallic black little armory black to be a hundred percent honest with you and then we are going to uh, maybe finish them I'm not a hundred percent sure on that one but if we have time don't want to spend too much time doing one thing we got to get to the custom guns today Uh, but yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. Here is a sample of an M4 that's finished that I finished right before we started the stream. And for those just joining us, welcome. We just ran out of primer. <laughs> uh, let's see, what's how's it going?
More bullpup guns, please, says Fudge Ducati. Fudge Ducati, here you go. That is a little armory um, Steyr Aug. I also have an SVU that was printed. If you want me to go grab that, I can. Has anyone heard from Michael Dancing 5 Did he ever claim what color he wanted? I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't, I don't see him in the chat right now saying what uh what color he wanted so if he doesn't say if i don't get an email from that guy uh by the end of this stream i think what's going to happen is i'm just gonna give it to a person who's actually talking and is active you know what i'm saying so yeah um michael dancing zero five come on let me know what color do you want what color do you want uh, yeah, this is the AUG A2 that I painted last time on stream on Twitch. This look, it's really cool. I really like this. The AUG is like one of my favorite guns. Um, the AUG, the AK-74, mostly import stuff. Um, not really too keen on the M4A1 and the M16 series. I mean, I like the SR-25. That's a really nice sniper. But yeah, do you still have the KO Mafex Venom Nose? Uh, actually, Saint Shane saying, yeah, I do. I save those for parts. I save it for parts. Um, just to address some questions that I get all the time. Let, let, let's, let's address some questions as the primer is going and as I refill my, my tank. The number one question I get is, what do you do with your clones afterwards? And I, I've said it like briefly in a lot of videos, so I'm going to say it here now. What I do with the clones is I use them as parts. Ever since I started the Figure Fix Friday series, I've been getting a lot of requests for people to fit for me to fix their toys, and it's actually been really successful for me. I've been fixing at least two or three toys a week. So which is another reason why you don't see Figure Fix Friday as often, because I pretty much feel that I've done almost everything. There are a few things I haven't done, clearly. Uh, time is always of the issue as a new father. Um, and other things, which I'll tell you in a, in a bit. Yeah, it's just been, it's it's time is the issue when it comes to YouTube and, and doing Figure Fix Fridays. But I honestly feel like when it comes to Figure Fix Friday, that I have done everything I possibly can for the community when it comes to sharing information on how to fix action figures. And I know I get a lot of people that's like, oh, can you fix this? Can you fix that? And I'm like, it's the same thing as fixing X, Y, and Z. When it comes to action figures, they're pretty much all the same thing. They have a, a ball joint, they have a peg, and they all snap. And they all fix the same way. It's just that simple, right? And I always have to lead them to a video where I do it. So back to the question, what do I do with the clones? I use them as parts. Whenever there's something I can't fix, I go to my parts drawer. And I pick out what I feel will work for that toy, and I fix it using clone parts. Now, clearly, we have 3D printed items here. I'm starting to get into doing custom joints. If you guys follow me on Instagram, the next custom joint that I will be doing is the Mafex Spider-Man. So that is, the, the wrist breaks a lot. I get, oh my gosh, I get 10 or so messages a week, maybe more, about Spider-Man. It's always Mafex Spider-Man breaking his wrist. Gosh. <laughs> so I said, you know what? I'm just gonna sell this right now, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna prototype a wrist joint for it. Okay, so that's what's gonna happen. Did you ever fix Bakugo's arms? No, I haven't had time. Uh, so let's go into that reason why. Time. What's going on with me? Let's talk about me for just one minute here. Uh, the reason why I haven't done a lot of videos lately is um, I finally got hired. I am now a salary man. YouTube, unfortunately, did not pay me enough. The shop is fine. Don't think that, oh, well, he's going to go away forever. No, no, no. I'm going to get as many reviews out as I can when I get time. The weekend is the only free time I have now. So I got to make use of that time. So I'll probably do one or two reviews a week. Maybe stream once in a while. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Video production will be lower from here on out. Until further notice. Until, oh, well, or maybe one day uh, we'll hit a, a million subs. I don't know. We hit a million subs. I'm making more than what I'm making as a salary man. Then, yeah, absolutely. We're going to keep doing, we're going to do more of this. But 
let's be real. Let's be real. Let me be let me, real talk. YouTube is a hard venture. It's really difficult. To get to where I am now required so much sacrifice. I know you guys don't really see that or hear that in my videos. It really does. It takes too much time. Way too much. Um, to get into that algorithm is... It, it, it nearly killed me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Don't want to do it anymore. Uh, if I can, if I, I mean, I gotta admit, like, the salary just makes more money than I would ever get in making videos on YouTube, so I, I gotta be real, that's, that's where it is. I mean, I've been working hard and getting my degree and everything like that, and I've finally paid off. So, uh, yeah, yeah, that, that's where it's gonna be. Well, thank you so much, Toy Play with Jay. I'm happy you got a job. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I was looking for a job three years ago. I didn't get that one. So, yeah. Are you able to make swords and lightsabers? Yes, absolutely. Can do those easy. Uh, those are usually going to be two parts. So, obviously, we need to make the blade a clear uh, translucent or transparent. And then what we can do with resin, what's great about resin printing over your standard um, regular printing is that you can get all kinds of colors um, and effects, not colors, effects. So you can get a clear resin and then we can put some color into it to get a blue effect, red effect, even like a chameleon effect. It's really amazing what you can do with resin printing. Um, so yeah, we can make whatever lightsaber as long as someone has printed something or I can custom make one. I know there are people all over the place that custom made lightsaber handles and we just need to pop that blade on and we're good to go. So my Ginyu horns broke, do you need a 3D print or a sculpt it? It depends if you still have the horn, then I would sculpt it on. Uh, okay, so. Are we okay? Is the stream all right? I know we had trouble on Twitch before. I thought we solved that. Maybe, maybe the troubles um, moved over to YouTube what's the gun that you made that you were most proud of not really proud because I didn't really design these uh, GSG designed these the gun that I've always wanted which again he still isn't messaging so I'm assuming no one's gonna win this uh, Michael might not win this. actually we're coming up on the 40 minute mark um, is the G36 and the reason why I love the fact that GSG made the G36 is check this out the little armory G36 is a limited edition release that was only available at Wonder Fest Wonder Fest in Japan and it was going for what thousand yen right ten bucks nine bucks right not a big deal but because it was an event exclusive they only made like 500 and they stopped that's it no more you can't get them anymore so they, only, they went up in value. I saw one on a Japanese like Craigslist going for like $100 to $200 for this, for this, for this. And you know what's sad? I almost bought it because I love the G36. It's one of my favorite rifles. And I almost bought it. I said, you know what? I can't drop that kind of money on just an accessory. I didn't want to do it. So uh, when I started 3D printing, I said, you know what? I could start making guns. So I did, and I found Gunter from GSG, and he makes a really beautiful G36. So I printed it, and I was really proud of what he did and how it came out. This is an absolutely gorgeous rifle. Um, okay, so let's see if Michael actually messaged me. No, the AUG is not up for grabs. You can still pick one up at dstartoys.com. Liable source for awesome action figures. Okay, let's do another giveaway. Uh, let's do two. Let's do two. Let's do two because uh, Michael is not answering. So what we're going to do here is we're going to cross him out. Um, Michael, sorry. Sorry, bro. You didn't email me. So, And plus, I think you stopped mess chatting. I don't know what happened there, bro. <laughs> Let's do another giveaway. All right. Uh, new question of the day and put it down. Do it. I guess we can't spam. Nightbot, Nightbot doesn't like spamming. So just put down one answer. One answer. Uh, let's see. What's a good question? It has to be gun related, huh? 
Uh, what's your favorite pistol? Go ahead and put it down. Let's go. Favorite pistol, let's go. I have 18 people that are ready to go. All right. Michael Dancing, are you still there, man? Like... I convinced LA will make the AK-12. <laughs> the 5.7. Ooh, beautiful. Yeah, love the 5.7. Um, geez, man. Nightbot is kind of just a jerk, isn't he? <laughs> maybe, maybe, okay, you know what we need to do? We need to turn down Nightbot. We're all going to do this live. Nightbot is just being really mean. We gotta turn him down just a notch. What is going on here? We cannot do these timeouts anymore. Uh, everyone, give me, give me a sec. Give me a sec, all right? to turn down Nightbot before. <laughs> so many timeouts. What is going on here? Okay, I'm going to... Um, I really don't know why. Turning it down. Just give me a sec. Give me a sec. Okay, I turned it off. I turned off the repetition. Let's do this again. Let's do this again, right? Ebony and Ivory. Um, email to win. I'll put it down right now again. All right, we're back. We are back. You are muted from the channel. Okay, you know what? I'm still, I'm still, okay. That's probably why I'm, I'm gonna play it fair. Let's do this again. Uh, let's put your name down. Let's turn this over. We're gonna figure this out because like I said, not too much, I didn't, I didn't stream on YouTube yet. This is the first time. So let's do this again.
I turned down the um, the bot, so we should be good to go now. Okay, he wants it orange. And don't forget to email me. Let's put let's put down the email. Let's put down the email. Uh, let's put down the email. Oh man, I can't fit it. <laughs> oh man. All right, let's get a new piece of paper. Let's get a new piece of paper. Let's get a new piece of paper. And we gotta open the garage because it's burning hot in here. This is like the the third time I've put your name down. Okay. There it is. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's do another. Let's do another uh, spam in the chat. Favorite pistol? Go for it. I will wait. So how do you win? All you gotta do, all you gotta do, is keep chatting, but don't spam too much because the bot will hate you for it. And then I will randomly roll for a winner and then you get the next gun in line which is the AK-74U and then you email me if you win and just say hi I won and prove to me that you are this person and then we'll go from there right okay we got Glock, Deagles, we got five sevens, we got all kinds of stuff, we got Oprah Okay. Okay, we got 17. Let's get it to 20 people. We need three more. Go ahead, drop down something that you like. Favorite pistol, favorite pistol. Let's go. Michael Dancing, you cannot win again. You can only win once. I'm not going to allow you to win twice. You got it? <laughs> Sorry. All right, let's go. In three, two, one, the next winner is Terrence Addison. Let's go. You are the winner of the AK-74U. Congratulations, my friend. Let's put you down. And if you want a color, let me know. So we have Michael dancing as the G36. And we got Terrence. Uh, Addison, who's very active as well on my channel, as well on the Discord. We got a um, AK, sorry, AK, let's mark that off, AK-74, you. <laughs> he said, don't pick me. <laughs> hey, hey, it picked you, okay? I... Uh, what am I supposed to do? If you want a color, let me know. Uh, let's start off by doing Mr. Michael's G36. We're going to paint it orange. So let's do that first. Let's dust it off real quick. This is going to be so weird. I'm so used to seeing the G36 in black. And that is it. Orange, huh? 
Okay. All right, how's uh, how's Goku's Gi Orange for you? Let's shake this up a bit. Oh, this will make everyone who likes guns cringe. All right, welcome to Cringe Topia Gun Edition. Orange G36. <laughs> oh man, it looks like Pang. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, man. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, it looks like an airsoft gun that's like too much into uh, following the rules. It's like an airsoft gun that you buy at like Walmart. <laughs> there you go, bro. <laughs> this thing looks god awful. I'm sorry, man. It looks so weird. <laughs> Uh. Oh my gosh. Uh, barf. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, let's see here. So there you have it. Orange juice G3, I th yeah, orange juice, tang. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Terrence, uh, did you want a color? I'm going through. Oh, Terrence, you want me to pick someone else? Okay, okay, that's fair, that's fair. I didn't see your message. We're gonna re-roll. We're gonna re-roll. Vanessa Lopez is the winner. Terrence has given up his AK-74U. Uh, cross that out. Actually, it's not good enough. There we go. Okay. Uh, Vanessa Lopez, congratulations. You're the winner of a custom AK-74U. And if you would like to color it... Ah, it got on my hand. Sorry. Let me know. Down below. Oh, it's two S's. I think, yeah, I messed this one up. It's, oh, uh, whatever. You get it. It's Vanessa Lopez. No, I can't do that. I can't do that to you, man, or girl. F A N V A N E S S A. Vanessa Lopez, you are the winner of the custom. AK 74U. Here is Michael's custom uh, orange juice edition G36C. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to wait for Vanessa to put down her color. For now, we need to continue on with the M4 painting. So let's go.
All right. It's completely random, correct. Let the new uh, newcomers who are coming in tell them that it is indeed random. Uh, when we hit, man, we're gonna hit the 20 minute mark again. We better hurry. And we're out. Uh oh. We're ready out. Oh man. Yeah, we gotta fill this pot up all the way to the top. Or as much as we can. Probably gonna keep this out. Oh, we almost touched the orange there. Give it a quick mix. And put this over here. And we're back. Let's do two more guns and then we'll run another giveaway. I'm using the Bander uh, Vengeance. This is a wonderful airbrush. Great for beginners and professionals alike. Has a wonderful spray on it. Look how fast that's covering. Really nice. Uh, one question I don't get so much, but I do like answering is what airbrush should I get first? And the Badger Vengeance is a excellent one to start with. Drops paint down like a pro. All right, we're done with two. Let's see what time it is. Yes, no, we can do a few more. We can do a few more. It's not there yet. Let's keep going. Have we hit it? 
Yeah, uh, no, we still have two more minutes. So we're doing like what? Uh, two guns a minute. Not bad, huh? This airbrush is boss. I think we can finish before six. I think we can. We're just going to go all out on this last one. There we go. Giveaway time. Let's go. Woo! Okay. Man, we're getting paint all over. We even got some on the orange G36. Actually, let's repaint this. No, that's unacceptable. It has to be orange. It has to be orange juice orange. One more time. Plus, we need a second coat on it anyway. There you go. I like the little outline it gave on the paper, too. Okay, so what's next? We have. Um, Tomb Raider USPs. Tomb Raider USPs is next on the giveaway. So, let's see. What can we put down to make sure everyone's chatting? Uh, what's your favorite Tomb Raider game? Put it down in the comments down below. If you don't play it, just say, hey, I don't play it. So, yeah, let me know. Let's uh, run the clock. We have two minutes. What is your favorite Tomb Raider game? Let's go. Um, Vanessa says blue on the AK-74U. Well, everyone is doing that. And don't forget Vanessa and Michael, info at dstartoys.com. That's again, info at dstartoys.com. Email me. That's where you email so you can get your prize and we can set that up. 2013 Tomb Raider. Oh yeah, 2013, the the remake. Fantastic game. Don't play, don't play. Yeah, 2013, favorite one. Um, I like the Tomb Raider one. Uh, not Tomb Raider one, sorry. Not, no, definitely not Tomb Raider one. For PlayStation one, no way. The, the sequel to Tomb Raider 2013. That one is my favorite. The third one, not so much. I, I didn't like it that much. Okay, so looks like we got a lot of people chatting it up, saying, hey, I like this. So, I got 21 people. Let's go. Let's keep it rolling. Mm -hmm. And the winner of the Tomb Raider USPs is Jose Moran. Ojeda, Ojeda. Congratulations, you are the winner. Um, don't request the color for this one because I actually want to color these correctly. So there you go. Congratulations, Jose. You are the winner of the USP. So uh, let's move on. Let's color this blue for our girl, Vanessa. 
And how we're going to do that is... What color blue? I like Hatsune Miku blue. We'll go Hatsune Miku blue. Is that cool? We'll go Hatsune Miku blue. How do you enter the giveaway? Every 20 minutes, all I say is put down something that you like. I'll ask you a question. Go ahead and answer it, and you are automatically entered. So basically, if you keep chatting, you're higher, you have a chance, a higher chance of winning. So keep it up in the chat. Keep the conversation going. Ask questions. Do what you got. Um, the Vanessa said she wanted blue, so we're going to do blue. And we're going to do Pro Mix. Which is Moto Paints Hatsune Miku Blue T051, which you can get at dstartoys.com, your level source for awesome action figures and paints. And now custom weapons. Well, soon. And what I love about this one is that it does not require any thinning at all. So let's get this started. Oh my gosh. You people in your <laughs> custom colors, man. <laughs> Gosh, why? Why? I asked. It's my fault. I asked. Okay, that's my. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's look at that. Let's see if we can focus that one up. Man, I am sweating like crazy, guys. There it is. <laughs> the Hatsune Miku Custom Edition AK74U. Uh, <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, it needs more blue. I'm going to put one more coat on that one. I, I actually really like this color. Congrats! Ugh. <laughs> it is a nice clean blue. I will agree with you on that one. Um, but yeah, it is a it's a really nice color. It's Hatsune Miku's hair color. Uh, it really brings out a lot of the detail on the AK too. If you can look closely, look at that. It's pretty nice, huh? Uh, I have to get the grip. So let me just do a quick paint right there on the grip. Let's see if we can add a little bit of thinner in there just to give it a nice, there you go, a nice finish. There it is. That's for you, Vanessa. Don't forget to email me, info at dstartoys.com. Give me some sort of proof that it is you, and we will go from there. Uh, we'll let this one dry. Uh, let's see, so next is the USP. So it's time to get serious with this one. So we need, we're gonna go for a two color on this. So this is for Jose. Jose, you have not said anything in the last five minutes. So I'm assuming you've quit, um, but I'm still going to color these. So Okay, so the secret to coloring these uh, we're going to go for Tomb Raider colors, actual Tomb Raider colors. We're not going to go for silly colors unless Jose wants to stop me right now. Uh, Kendar Rig Rangan what is the weirdest color? I'd have to say the Hatsune Miku color of the AK. Yeah, that, that's weird. So let's primer this one. Uh, and then, let's see, is the magazine removable? No, they are not removable. 
Um, but I was planning maybe to include an extra mag of some sort. Or maybe somewhere down the line, I might make them removable. We'll see. It's not impossible to do, by the way. You can easily do it. It's uh, Well, I can easily do it. So, anyway, Stacy Watkins, Watkins, thank you so much for dropping by. Who has anxiety? Why do you have anxiety, man? Let's talk about that. What's going on with you? Uh, all right, so, USPs, let's get this going. So, first things first, let's get the mask on. And we're going to do some cleanup. I got brushes here with all kinds of paint that we need to get rid of. So we're going to do a quick cleanup. And then we're going to do a quick coloring of the USPs. Uh, we might not get to the other M4s today, unfortunately. We'll have to do that another time, or I might have to do it off stream. It looks like we got quite a bit of people here still. Thank you for dropping by. To the very first YouTube stream. I think we know where we're going from now on. I don't think we're going back to Twitch, but we'll see. We might do gameplay on Twitch, and then we'll uh, we'll keep uh, the the painting and reviews on uh, what do you call it on YouTube. Okay. Sorry, I hit my mic there. My bad, guys. Okay. Let's go. So let's do the. USP first. And this requires some careful work. We're going to adjust the... We're doing some minor adjustments to the brush. We don't want to drop too much paint. one um, it's not done yet we're gonna still paint the slide silver so we'll let that dry and we'll go for the second one is the paint noise you're not digging it some people find it really relaxing if you don't I apologize
Okay. Uh, I'll get to your questions in just a bit, guys. Let me finish this up. All right, let's prepare the silver. Uh, let's talk. Uh, Ura he said he wants the M16-203. Uh, that is probably gonna be the last gun in the giveaway. Uh, let's see here. Yes, another giveaway is coming up. It's every 20 minutes. Uh, let's see here. Ura, I just having two grip buckle guns. The ooh, the AN and body coon pistols. Okay. D Star, I wanted to ask, where's the best place to buy Mr. Clear Coat? And what's another cheapest alternative that works similar? Ooh, Mr. Clear Coat is the best. Um, when it comes to the flat finish that you see in imports. Uh, I'm starting to believe that whenever SH Figure Arts, Figma, or whatever. Um, comes out with a figure they hit it with that stuff. That's why it looks so good so clean when the light hits it um, It is indeed the best. There's really nothing that could top it so No, nah, I, I I would like to say Hmm no unless you have an airbrush like any flat finish will work that gets pretty good. Like I use um, this. This is Splash Paints two to one, three to one ratio, two K matte clear. And you're wondering, well, what's two K? Is, is that is is that like an EA basketball game? No, 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 no. Two K means a two part um, clear coat, and you need to airbrush this. You have to. There's no other way to do it. Uh, if you don't, if you have a hand brush, no, it's not going to work. You need to airbrush it. So what this does is it has a, a, what is this called? A catalyst. So when these two mix, it hardens. And when it hardens, it becomes a really nice matte finish, very similar to something from, um, uh, Mr. Color and, and, uh, not, I think it's better because it, makes a really durable hard shell over your figure and I, I use this on all my professional stuff whenever I did a customize or something like that for another person I always try my best to cake my this stuff on so therefore whenever they move it around it's it's like paint doesn't come off because of this stuff um, but if you're looking for a quick like boom let's go it looks great you really can't top mr. color or in this case, Mr. Hobby. Uh, I have the Mr. Super Smooth Clear, which is what I will be putting on everyone's guns when we're done here. So yeah, unfortunately, there's nothing that beats it. I've tried everything too. I've tried like Rust-Oleum, ugh, crap, don't. I've tried Montana Gold, which is okay, but it doesn't quite have that import matte finish that you're looking for, it's something that you see in like Look at this this Deku right here, looking really nice in that matte finish. Um, nothing quite replicates it besides Mr. Color, unfortunately. So that is the answer to that question. Uh, what is the paint? Today's paints, we are using Mr. Color's Little Armory colors. We have black, metallic black, 
and we have parkerized black which we will be try our best to do use on the next gun uh, but we still need to finish the USP so let's go that to that we are going to try some sort of silver we're going for Mr. Color Stainless oh let's shake it up duh I can't just put it up so while I'm shaking this let's talk so that's the paint the sad thing is I don't have any you might win so just keep at it uh, yeah I watch YT streams more these days glad to see you here thank you so much yeah I think we are going to stay away from twitch until maybe we're we'll game uh, we had I love talking to just like the five or ten people that are on twitch whenever we play like project zomboid those were fun um, I really like doing that, so we might just do that. And let's see here. Okay, so I think that's it. Yeah, magazines are not removable. I can make them removable, but I have to redo some of the designs on them. Uh, if GSG is in chat, maybe think about that when you're making these designs. I could do it too. But for now, I think it's easier to just have, like, just one gun. Uh, will they fit little armory gloves? Oh, of course, Ura. Oh, of course. Easy peasy. Uh, I have little armory right here. Here is my favorite girl right now. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, woo. Did I just say ooh, woo? I did. All right, here you go. And there's our girl. And those are little armory gloves right there. And there's Mio with a uh, Hatsune Miku blue in case seven for you. Ugh. <laughs> All right, and this is what we have so far. I kind of like the orange with a like black undertone. I really like that. So we're gonna keep that. And that's what we have so far. We are fully customizing the USPs. If he's still in chat. Jose Moran, if you're here, you need an answer, man. Maybe you're in timeout. I don't know. But we're just going to keep going. I'm not going to cancel anyone out. Probably at the end, if someone, they still haven't emailed me or messaged something, then I guess we'll, we'll move on. So what we want to use is the beautiful custom $500 CMSB airbrush. For when we're doing the slide um this is a really nice airbrush this is my workhorse this is my go-to this is the finest details i could get on a on anything uh cost me a pretty penny but gets the best work done i gotta say extremely fine details So we're going to have to do a mix. This paint's pretty thick. Hopefully we can thin it out enough. There's still orange in there. Pressure. I'm doing fine adjustments. When dealing with metallic paints, especially, you have to mix it really good because some metallic paints have actual metal in it. So getting it to automize in your airbrush is kind of difficult. So I have to be pretty generous with the thinner to get it to do what I want it to, which is to do fine details. 
which I think we got it. Yeah, we got it. Okay, let's get the mask on. Let's go back. Okay. All right, the slide. Yeah, we're having trouble with this mix. There we go. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. That's one of them. Look at that. I think I have to do redo one of them. Hold on. Let's do that again. Tomb Raider USP is done. Ugh. Okay. So, that didn't take as long as I thought. That one <laughs> reminds you of Portal. Yeah, it totally does, huh? Okay, let's see here. Um. I think we could finally move on to the other M4s. Jose, you still haven't messaged? I'm checking. I'm looking out for you. So I do not see anything from you. So I'm assuming that you might forfeit this. Please don't. I'm not going to. I might do this later, but again at another time, another date. Okay, uh, hold on one second. Let me finish off these. I 
Actually, I'll do those at another time. Let's start doing... Actually, we're out of... Um, we're out of these uh, holders, which we need. We'll do a few... Hold on one second. Let me get a little bit organized here. Man, I love the way these USPs turned out. Man, it's nice. Uh, let's see here. So how many can we do? So these are more M4s. And what we're doing, these are made out of a different material than the original black M4s that I was doing. So what we need to do is we're going to paint this parkerized gray is what it's called. So that's what we're going to do. As many as we can. I don't think we can do much because we don't have many of these left. How many do we have now? We have only five. So let's start. Let's do what we can. And let's primer them. Let's get the Bane mask on. All right, what is going on in chat? E Edition says at stop motion saying, I don't think he has a TikTok. Are, are you sure about that? Are you sure? <laughs> All right, this is a question I get on TikTok a lot. Is this you? Yes, this is me. I have a TikTok. Oh, shoot, we just hit 1,028 followers? Man, when did that happen? Oh, man, it actually happened. I, I, I honestly never thought that I would hit that. Um, whoa. I do have a TikTok. It's in my link tree. So, yeah, to confirm, yes, I have a TikTok. They are condensed versions of all the reviews that I have done. So... If you just want to watch like a quickie, like, you know what? I don't want to sit around for 10 minutes listening to this guy talk about an action figure. 
that will tell you exactly what to it, it'll get right down to the point i have a wonderful editor who does all my tiktoks is uh you remember frankie or in this case his channel on youtube is best Druken. he's the one that does it so yeah <laughs> i do have a tiktok uh no the aug is not up for grabs that one is mine i love the aug i will not sell it the aug is available on thestartoys.com so there it is this is me taking my time doing a gun Right now, we're just going really fast and painting them all one color, with the exception of the USP. Uh, I think that one I took a little bit of time. I still need to do some fine details on that. I just did the base coats on those. So, yeah. Thank you, uh, Reaper Ryan 88 Thank you for dropping by. Appreciate it. Appreciate everyone who's here, by the way. Um, to be honest about the TikTok, by the way, as much as, as I'm on that platform, I'm honestly not running that account as much. I do look at it every once in a while. Hence the reason why I didn't know we were even at a thousand twenty eight. Um, I have someone else watching that review or that, ch that, that part of the D star, D star network, but I do check it every once in a while, at least twice a week i'll go ahead and jump on and see what's going on um so yeah um so let's move on what time is it it is 6 35 it's giveaway time people this is the big one well not big one i guess um let's do this this is the acr right here So this one's fully kitted out. It's already painted. I did this one on stream on Twitch. It has a red dots uh, scope. It has a drop grip. Uh, it has a Magpul magazine on there. As you can see right there. There it is. Let's see if the, fo the camera will focus up. There it is. You can win this one. This one works really well with pretty much every figure. I scaled it just right. Here he is on the Mandalorian. So there he is with a ACR. Maybe, maybe not so much. More Still more for... Um, imports, so there he is, the Mandalorian with the ACR. Not that he would really use bullet guns, I guess. So, we will run that. Uh, next question. Yo, that ACR gonna go hard on my Vegito. Well, let's keep it going then. The question that I have for you today that you can put in chat so you can get into the giveaway... It's going to happen in five minutes, so let's keep this going. We all know that the P Bandai exclusives are coming out for con season, even though there's no Comic Con, which would be Beerus, Whis, Super Saiyan God Goku, and the re release of Nappa. Which of those four, if you could get them, which one would you get? Let's put that in chat. So, once we get that in chat, we will go see who gets the acr i will be pulling a winner in two minutes go for it let's move the camera a little bit to the left there all right Zach Boy says, uh, Beerus, uh, okay, Whooper Pog, Pog says, Beerus, Super Toastman says, Nappa, Beerus, 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 Walrus, oh, Walrus, nice, finally a Wheeze, which of the P Bandai exclusives will you be picking up if you can, Wheeze, Beerus, Super Saiyan God, Goku, or Nappa, I got a lot of Beerus, Wow, we all wanted that Beerus, huh? So the P Bandai exclusives are coming out on the, I believe the 22nd of this month. If someone wants to correct me, go for it. Um, but yeah, they're coming out around 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So my time if you're in the West Coast, it's coming out at 6 p.m. on P Bandai. I'm gonna try my best to get all four, if not more. So everyone is loving that Beerus, man. Yeah, this is a DBZ thing. So let's see. 
16 users. I swear we could have had more. What's going on here? Give me one sec. Let me refresh. All right, I refresh the chat. Sorry, do it. Let's do it one more time. Out of the four, Weez, Beerus, Super Saiyan God Goku, which no one has really said, and the re-release of well, actually, essentially, that are all re-releases of Nappa. All right, we have. Looks like 10 p. Okay, they're they're starting to come in. They're starting to come in. Zach, you're in. Don't worry, you're in. <laughs> you don't have to keep talking. <laughs> Zach, boy, you're really excited. I have 12. Isn't it just updating, man? 12 eligible users. It should be more than that. All right, we're going to give it a minute to let this update. Okay, we have 13 now. Okay. Okay. I guess that's it. All right, let's roll the dice. The ACR. We're going to roll the dice in three, two, one. No, Vanessa, you cannot win again. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. Sorry. Better. Troa Space One. Thank you. Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? What are the odds? Uh, we do have a winner, which is Troa Space One. Congratulations. Unfortunately, you do not get to choose a color. Email me, info at dstartoys.com, if you want to pick up your prize. Um, first things first, before we continue, I think we need to address the email thing. Let me see. Have you guys emailed me at all? Winners, have you emailed me at all? Let me know. Let me check my spam. Maybe it's going there. That's why I haven't seen you guys' email. Okay, yeah, I got it. I got it. Dan Michael Dancing, I see you. I see you. Uh, I only have Michael Dancing who's emailed me. Vanessa Lopez. Go ahead and email me. Take the time right now and send that email. Uh, Jose has not said anything. I think it's safe to say that he is not here. We're going to cut him out. Uh, the USPs. So let's go again on the USPs. They're dry right now. Yeah, they're dry. Should be good to go. So no one has claimed these. So we need a winner. And unfortunately, Jose is not there. Let's do. Let's roll. Let's roll the dice one more time. We're just gonna roll it. Uh, 
Uh, I want a Trunks with Link color. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, you can't, but you will be getting a, uh, a ACR. Corey Kako Kakogawa, congratulations, you are the winner of the USPs. How do you spell that? <sighs> Congrats, man. Corey, you are the winner. Uh, go ahead and email me. Corey, are you there in chat? I am not seeing any of your chat messages popping up on my notifications, so I'm assuming you you may have given up. Oh, there you go. Okay, Corey, um, go ahead and email me at info at dstartoys.com. GG, my friend. You already you win the custom painted ACR, which I already uh, already have right here. Okay, um, and Corey wins the USPs. I forgot about that. And right now, I think what I want to do is I want to get some fine details on the USP just so we can get that moving. I'm going to paint the sights black. So rarely do I use a brush, but when I do, it's for super, super fine details. Like the sights. I'm using a God Hand Ultra Fine Brush, which I've said on Twitch before. The brush matters. So I highly recommend you look into getting a God Hand, which is my favorite brush for ultra fine details, such as that. Oh yeah, look at that. I missed a few spots on the compensator. Just do a quick brush right there. Okay, now let's get the sights. Side done. Let's do the front side. And there you go. I think that's it. Uh, we might hit it with some silver. Let's clean this brush real quick. I think there are a few spots I missed on that silver on the slide here. Just 
Got to be real careful so it doesn't bleed through. And there you have it. Tomb Raider USP's masterpiece. See if I can get the grips. I think I missed the bottom here. Yeah, I did. Just going over it one more time. Oh, so lightly. Okay, we are done with that. And we're coming up on 650. Uh, let's look at that. That's for you, my friend, Corey. Look at those beauties right there, guys. Fortunately, no Tomb Raider figure in the 112 scale yet. I wouldn't mind one. Like Figma or Figure Arts? That'd be great. Not a fan of the NECA one. I think NECA made one. Yeah, not a fan of it. Alright, there you go. Let's put those aside. And now let's go move on to the M4s. And let's get a mask on. All right, let's move on. We have five M4s here that we need to paint a different color black. That's right, we're going for this. This is Parkerized Gray. I think we'll do one more giveaway and whoever wins this giveaway gets a choice between the three and I'll call her that and we'll call it a day yeah Again, these M4s, why am I coloring these M4s? This is for my, uh, my community on Discord. To get on the Discord, you have to be a customer or a supporter on Patreon. Heck, even on here. If you go ahead and donate something, I'll allow you in that Discord. And you get free stuff like this all the time. Discounts, exclusive offers, first dibs on stuff, the whole shebang. All right, let's move on. We're gonna color this a parkerized gray, which is more towards the actual color of the M4. stuff runs pretty freely. I'm already out. <laughs> Even after doing a mix too. Strong one. real quick. The bottle kind of went all over the place, didn't it? Let's do this. 
clean up the bottle. Hopefully this is the last time we refill. Okay, back to it. Wow, this stuff is really light. It goes through pretty fast. I'm already empty. <laughs> Jeez. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pre-mix. So we don't run out. We have to mix every time we need to reload. I don't know why this one in particular. This M4 needs another hit. We ran out. And we load. Okay. Uh, one thing I want to do, I want to do an actual M4 that is properly colored. So let's do that now. And what's properly colored, you're asking? Um, so the rail system is usually a parkerized gray, just like the gray I used. The body is usually a dark black mixed with parkerized gray. The magazine's parkerized gray straight up. And the stock and the grip is black. <coughs> so let's get the mask on. Let's do a proper one. And then we'll do a give two giveaways after we're done here. So we're going to take our time with this one. Actually, we can't because the front sight broke. <laughs> oh, I think I dropped this one pretty hard too. That's probably why. I think I have an extra. I'll be right back. Okay, 
Let's go. So the barrel and rail system. Oh, we have to hit it with this first. Primer. I think that's enough. This stuff dries pretty quickly. Now we're going to go low and slow on this one. This one's the serious one. This one's not going to be one color. It's going to be a multi multiple colors here. So we're trying to go for the most realistic looking M4. So the body is kind of like a dark black with a mixture of the Parker eyes. So we're going to take some of the metallic black and we're going to mix it in with, the, with that. And this one's for the body. I'm going to mix it up. And see what the color looks like. Oh, perfect. Let's go. Uh, we need to clean out a brush to get the flat black on there. Get flat black on there, and I think we have. Yep, we have a flat black.
We're going for the stock. And we're going to go for the grip and the trigger. And there it is. Uh, I think I missed the, yeah, the magazine pull right there. And there it is. So this is me taking my time with an M4. I think this print turned out okay, as well as the color. So it looks like we missed a few spots on the stock. And then we're gonna go from afar. Gonna give it a light matte black all over. Give it a more dirtier look. And yeah, I think we're done. So that's the M4. As you can see, it does look more two-tone-ish. I um, think I'm going to hit the body just a little bit more with a lighter, more metallic black there. I honestly feel it's still a little too parkerized. There we go. That looks much better. So there you have it. That is finished. Let's do a giveaway on this one. On this M4 right here. Question, favorite shooting game? There you go, shooter. You can say Fortnite, Modern Warfare, uh, Halo, that's a good one. And let's do this giveaway. Keeps cutting out, you said? Hmm. I think I'm cutting out because we are overheating on the camera. I think we need to start, we need to end the stream. This is the last thing. Uh, we'll do one more giveaway after this and then that's it. saying you are the winner of this custom painted M4A1 the one I actually took time for you know what to do go to info at dstartoys.com and say you won prove it to me and I will send this to you let's see how do I spell your name stop motion saying congrats man All right, there you go. That is for you. 
Okay, uh, final. This is it. This is the big one. This is the the one you've been waiting for. Maybe I will not stream. Uh, you know what? Let, let's stream it anyway. The chance to win the Scorpion, the M16 with the grenade launcher, or the Druganov sniper rifle. This is it. This is it. Um, I don't really know what else to what like other questions <laughs> to ask you guys. Um, oh, you know, wait, it's right there. It's right there. So this is what we're gonna ask. Which of these three would you prefer? The CZ Scorpion? The Druganov? Or the M16? Which one, if you won, would you pick? Cass Russ says the Druganov. Thank you, Ura. Thank you for saying I'm the best. Appreciate it. Okay, Droog, M16, Scorpion. Yeah, the Scorpion's really nice. Okay, another... Yeah, yeah, you already said Scorpion. Cool. Derpia says any. All right, cool, cool. Truganov or death. <laughs> the true Russian way. It is Druganov or death. M16, Scorpion, Rip Toxie says, that's the whole point of the stream and it's his Discord and I buy stuff from this dude all the time. Yeah, you do, you do. Uh, Ura, M16, MJN no Motion, are you ending soon? Yes, I am. This is it. This is the final. This is it. I don't think I can talk for any more, guys. My mouth is and throat are so dry. Ugh. Thank you, person with an orb... Or yeah, Orber, thank you for being a fan. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do this very soon. Let's go one more last final giveaway for the best gun. They do not make these in any form, as far as I know. I have yet to see a Druganov being made. Actually, I take it back. There is a Druganov. I have yet to see the Scorpion again. GRG Guns designed a really good one. The M16 with a grenade launcher, I haven't seen that one yet either. So, let's go. We're gonna roll, are you guys ready? In three, two, one. Cass Russ is the winner. You get to choose, what did you pick, Cass? What did you pick? Okay, Cass Russ picked the Druganov. Excellent choice. Uh, these two will probably be given away at another time. For now, the Druganov. We are going to paint this. Congrats. Uh, you know what to do. Email me. Info at dstartoys.com. Let's go. Okay. I promised you I'd give you a really good Druganov. Let's do this. Oh, man. Oh. This is going to take some time. It's going to take some time. But I promised you, and I do not let you down. I will not let you down. No more giveaways. That's it for today. So if you guys want to go, that's fine. I'm just going to chill out here and try my best to make the best possible Druganov I've ever made in my life. Hmm. So we need to start. <sighs> if you have any questions you want to ask me, go for it.
Okay, so what does the Druganov look like? So we know that the front grip, or the, the yeah, the front grip uh, is wood, and the stock is wood, and everything else is metallic black, right? With the exception of the, um, the eye relief for the scope, which we will probably do a tire black on that one. Uh, everything else will kind of be like a shiny black. So that's what we're going for. Are you going to do any more bootleg Figma reviews? Yes, I have three waiting. I just haven't had the time to do it, as I said in the stream before. Um, I am now a paid salary man, so no time for YouTube anymore. I'll do as many as I can, when I can, but as of right now, my job is very important. So hopefully I'll get to them soon. I'll do as many as I can, like I said, when it comes to bootleg reviews. So, uh, yeah, we're not done yet. This is, I mean, we're done with, with, with giveaways, right? We're done. Um, for those who, who have won, let me put this down again. Info at dstartoys.com. That's what you should email me at. Let's do it like this. I'll be waiting your email. Uh, the Druganov, right. We're going to finish this. I don't care how long this takes. I promised you I'd give you a good one, so we're going to do it. Oh man, don't get isekai. That happens way too much to salary men. Yeah. Are you getting the SH Figure Arts Naruto? Yes, I am. So, let's go. Who won? Zach Boy. Let, let, let's go over the winners. Michael Dancing05, I got your email. He won a orange G36C. Sure. Um, Vanessa Lopez is the winner of the Hatsune Miku Blue AK-74U. Um, Troa Space One is the winner of the already painted, custom painted ACR. Uh, Corey Kakogawa is the winner of the dual USP Tomb Raider USPs. And last but not least, Stop Motion Saiyan is the winner of the M4A1, which we are still waiting to dry. Where actually, where is it? I think this is it right here. Of the custom M4. And the next one, the next winner is who did who is who is it that one again? <laughs> Sorry. Uh Cass Russ is the winner of the custom Druganov. Where did my pen go? Cass Russ. Okay. Let's go. So we're going for a metallic black. On the barrel. Metallic black on the body 
the magazine and the scope, but not the eye relief on the scope. You ready for what we're gonna do next? We're gonna put wood red on there. Yes, Cass Rush is winning the Druganoff. Uh Kaido Okami, no, I am not. I am I am streaming on YouTube probably forever now. Uh, when it comes to toy stuff, uh, when it comes to gaming, most likely I will bring it to Twitch, but I don't think I'll be doing toy stuff on Twitch anymore. I think that is a, a dead end for me when it comes to toy stuff. So yeah, uh, let's get this stuff out of the way. I don't want to ruin the winner's uh, weapons here. Which, by the way, excellent choices on some of these guns, man. The blue and the orange, man. Those those are killer. Killer choices. Okay, um, right, the Druganov. This requires some time. But I'm here. I'm here for you. So we're gonna mix brown, which is stock brown, which is used mostly for the Druganov. What we're gonna do there, we're gonna mix it with flame red. So what you get is kind of like a cherry red stock. I've done this before with one of my AKs. It turned out beautiful. And we're gonna see if we can replicate that with this. I did it with a little armory AK. So we'll see how it turns out. I'm pretty sure it's gonna turn out really nice. If we mix it correctly. Get some thinner in there. Let's see what it looks like when we mix it. I think I have a mixing stick in here. Yeah, I do. All right, here we go. All right, there you go. Very simple. It was two parts wood, one part red. And what you get is a cherry red wood stock that is absolutely gorgeous. And we're gonna put that in the expensive brush after we clean it. Uh, 
Uh, yes, Ura, this is the final giveaway. Uh, the other two I might do another day. Apparently this stream turned out really successful. Um, usually around Twitch I get like 20. One time we almost hit 60, but uh, that has not happened again. So it seems like we're going to stay on YouTube when it comes to streaming stuff. And we're going to do giveaways on here now. So let's check this wood stuff, wood color out. Oh yeah, that's the stuff right there. Okay, perfect, let's get the mask on. Actually, how much of that stock is wood? But look at that, guys. It's already starting to look beautiful. Look at that. Wow. I love the Druganov. Druganov is best weapon when it comes to sniping. Cannot beat its reliability and accuracy at long ranges. Uh, let's see here. So it looks like. Uh, so I thought that was part on the grip is black. It's actually wood. Yeah. Okay. So let's uh, let's see if we can redo that. Okay. All right, FPS Russians. Let's do this. Yes, so this part right here is supposed to be a wood stock taken back from the backyard in Yugoslavia. And then we go like this. Look at this, very nice. Very nice. Oh my god, that is the nicest stock I have ever seen. Oh yeah, that is nice.
We take our time with this one, yes? Uh, Ura asks, what paint do you use? Always lacquer, never acrylic. I hate acrylics. Never, never, ever will I go back to acrylic. Never. They are not good for what we do here. They have a terrible after finish and they're easy to remove, not durable. The whole shebang, no way. When it comes to paints, lacquers is the way to go. Or enamels, the reason is it's... Uh, basically chemically bonds to whatever you're putting it on and uh, yeah okay okay my fellow Russians let us put more fine details on this yes so what we do uh, where is my okay fine brush right here we need to put some black on the front side right here. Speaking of Russian stuff. I cannot wait for Stalker 2 to come out. Have you guys seen the trailer for Stalker 2? It is absolutely gorgeous. That game is going to rock everyone's socks off. Okay, let's let that dry for a second. Notice there's a little bit something wrong with the stock. It looks like it didn't slice very well. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a little bit of that off. Yeah, that is not perfect, but... There we go. We can get it pretty close to perfect. I might have to redo this one when I actually make it again, but I think it looks good just as is. Let's get some fine details here. I'm trying to get the back here of the dust cover. And this part right here is actually black on the real one. Ooh. Looking sharp. Okay, and we need to do Tire black, I think that's what it's called, on the the eye relief, which I thought we had, but I don't think we have. Was I wrong? I think so. I think that's it. So we're gonna have to use uh, flat black. Yeah, we have to use flat black. No, no, we do have tire black. It just has a bunch of stuff on it right here. This is just for the eye relief. Ha! 
How many guns have you given away? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six guns already. This is the seventh one. And it's the seventh and final. And let's give that eye relief a tire black. I'm going to hand paint this one. I think we need to give it some thinner. It is going on a little bit too th thick. So let's just drop just a little bit. Right there, that's it, that's it. Nothing more, nothing less. And let's thin it out with some thinner here. Because I think I went a little too thick on it. And it's not looking as good as everything else. So let's see if the thinner will thin it out. Yeah, it looks like it's already starting to thin out. Yeah, very nice. Okay. Let's see, I think we missed the bottom. Okay. And just because, let's get into these little grooves here. I think that needs to be a flat black, not a tire black. Let's do that. So I'm going to fill in those little crevices or um, heat vents. Let's do an actual flat on those. And do we have any that's already pre-thinned? No, we do not. So we need to do that. No, we're good, we're good, we're good. We covered it, we're good. <laughs> we're good, guys. Oh man, wouldn't that suck if all my paint flew all over the place? <laughs> okay. All right, so what we're doing right now is we're going to get into these little crevices right here. Oh, hold on, I'm all messed up a little. Actually, that worked out pretty good. And what we do is we paint it and then we wipe it off and it looks good like that. Paint and wipe. Well, we're not done yet. If you thought we were done, no, we are not done yet. Nope, nope, nope. Far from it, my friends. Well, actually, no, we're almost done. I'm just going to do some touch ups here and there. Okay, so just when you thought I was done, no, I am not done yet. So what are we gonna do? We are gonna add a wood pattern to this. Now people on Twitch already know that I've done this before 
and the end result is really nice. So what exactly are we doing? I'll show you in just one minute, if I still have it. I think I still have it. I would never throw something like this away. So what this is, this is a wood pattern stencil. I think I have a better one too, hold on. Everyone stand by. This is Airbrush Texture 1. I'm looking for texture number 2, which is somewhere in my ever so increasingly messy workspace. I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. So, I haven't used this one yet. This is texture number 1. This will give you quality wood look, yes? So, what we're going to do is... On the wood parts of the rifle, we're going to add a wood effect, right? And what we need to do is we need to lay this down and then take the, the black. And then we're going to go like this. Here we go. In three, two, one. Look at this, very nice wood stuck right there. It's giving it a nice little look there. Uh, we missed some of the grip so it looks uneven. Let's see if we can add a little bit there. And then we will, let's go to this, let's go to the stock or the front grip. We'll do like this sonic boom effect. So we need to lay it down. Oh yeah. So that's what we have. Now we're gonna turn it over do the same sonic boom effect to the other side. I think we're running out of paint. Yeah, we are. Oh man. Uh, let's see, so let's take the flat black and put that in. Go. That one's a little too woody, but you know what? I like the way it turned out. And we're gonna keep that one. So we wanna just go over it lightly. Let me give it a quick look. Oh yeah. So it gives it a like really nice wood pattern. Um, let's do, I think I missed the spot right there on the bottom. There you go. So let's look at this up close. So we show you what I just did there. This is pretty much the final product. I gave it a wood texture. As you can see, it's texturized with the stencil. So it gives it a more natural wood look. And I think we are done. Uh, one more thing. Actually, no, we are not done. There is still one more thing we need to do to this to complete it. We need to give the wood a laminated look. So what we're going to do with the lamination is we need 2K gloss. This stuff is gold right here. Love this. This is 2K. So that means this is a two-part with a... What do you call it? With a... Um, catalyst. I keep forgetting. It's ca 
metal list. So we're gonna give it a wood gloss look, and that will also give it a protector as well. So this is this stuff is very sensitive, so we need to count how many drops this is gonna take. So it's a three to one ratio, so we need to count by threes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Yeah, 21, we'll do 21. So we'll do seven drops of the activator, AKA Catalyst, which we have right here. Same stuff that we use with the Catalyst for the flat version. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we went eight, but that means we just got to work faster. And then we'll grab a mixing stick, which we are incredibly low on. Oh, wow, did we run out of mixing sticks? Oh, yeah, we're running really low. I have to dig for it. We got to mix it. and let it sit for just a second. We are going to take one of these brushes and clean it out. Gotta make sure this brush is really clean. Get the mask on, the stuff's starting to smell. And back to Bane. Final step, and then we'll go to questions, and I guess that's it for the day. Okay, where is our boy? Where is he? Where'd he go? Okay, there he is. Okay, so we need to gloss. And then we'll hit it like that. The Druganov is a little bit glossy, so we're just gonna hit it with a little protector. And whenever I do little armories, this is usually how I finish my guns. And we're done. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. There's the Druganov right there for the winner, Cass Rust. Don't forget to email me if you want this, man. Or woman, person, I don't know. Look at that. Let's turn off the, the air pump and let's enjoy the beauty that is of Russian engineering. The Druganov. Chambered in 762x54R, I believe. Humongous bullet. My friend has a real one. And it's amazing. It has a lot of kick, but it's very accurate. Uh, he even has the uh, scope, too. So he kept it as authentic as possible. The lamination on it from the, from the start, really glossy. 
he eventually started using it so much to the point where it just wasn't glossy anymore. But yeah, there it is. Okay. We are done for the day. Thank you all for watching. Let's go over a few questions before we close this stream. Cast Ross, go for it. Email me in the morning info at dstartoys.com. Sackboy Productions, thank you for enjoying the stream. Thank you for staying, everybody. Thank you so much. Michael Mason, do you know where I can buy some good 112 scale handguns? Um, dstartoys.com clearly has little armory. I have a bunch of little armories. You can check out my stock there. I will be 3D printing these soon, okay? Um, probably in the next two weeks, I will be announcing, doing a review, uh, doing a video on what we're going to release. Everything will be in limited quantities. Whenever I print them, I'm going to paint them. I'm going to release them in sets of 20 and that's it. Um, I'll do a restock on them, but I need to go through the guns one by one. I can't just release everything all at once. If you have a 3d printer yourself, go ahead and go into the description down below and visit my good friend Gunter, he 3D printed, or, in, or not 3D printed, he 3D modeled everything that I've made here today, and I just printed it out and printed it out and painted it. So if you have a 3D printer of your own, you can go ahead and buy his designs really cheap, two to three dollars. I even have a discount code down there for you can take 25% off, and yeah, you can start printing your own guns. Uh, but if you want them painted, I'm going to release them painted on dstartoys.com very soon, week or two. I just need some feedback from my um, community on Discord. And then I'll go from there. Right? I need feedback first before I start releasing a full-blown full blown product. So that's what I'm planning on doing. It might take one or two weeks. Depends. But I will announce it. So if that's what you're looking for, handguns, you can go ahead and start off doing by doing 112 scale and little armory. Uh, from what I understand about little armory pistols, though, they are not big enough for a lot of toys, even when it comes to little um, Figmas, which is what they were designed for. So what I did with my pistols, as you can see here with the Tomb Raider USP, I scaled it um, a little bit bigger. So it not only fits like Figma. Um, let's get a... Figma figure in here. Where is Aqua? We had Aqua just a second ago. Uh, but here, here, we'll just use what it's meant for. As you can see here, this is a little armory Mio, and she fits the pistol really nicely. But then you can also take this same pistol and put it on something like a Marvel Legends Captain America. So you can see it fits him too. So when it comes to pistols, you have to scale them just right. When it comes to rifles, um, you can't just um, do one size fits all. I think, I'm like I said before earlier in the stream, I need to do one size for like Hasbro, Marvel Legends, and then I'll do one for SH Figure Arts Figma. Pistols, I don't think I need to do that. I think I found the perfect scale that works for both, and it looks good on both. Uh, I think that is it. Let's see. More questions. Let's answer a few questions before we end today's stream. I'm just going to sit back and relax here, guys, because that was a long one. How strong are 3D prints? Um, I'm using an ABS-like material. So you want to see me destroy one. Hmm. Do I have one to destroy? Yes, I do. Let's take this guy. And... And this is heavy. Um, let's throw it down. Let's drop it. Okay, uh, let's see, what else? What else can we hit it with? Clearly you can cut them, but well, here we go. Let's do another hard throw down. 
and that one fell on the ground. Let's see the damage done. And I ran it over with my chair. So the stock broke after I ran it over with my chair. So there you go. I abused it a little bit there, hit it a lot. If you're posing and playing with it, I think you'll be fine. Just don't like run it over with your car or chair or whatever and you should be good. So that M4 is done for. All right, Vision Boy, you can take it down a notch, my friend, jeez. Uh, it's not unbreakable. Every, anything can be broken. You just gotta not abuse it, I guess. So another thing about these is I think my main issue with these were, is, was going to be, even though they fit a lot of figures, is making sure that they don't break, right? I don't know what people do with their toys, so some people will probably take their M4, run it over, throw it at their little brother or sister. I don't know what you guys are doing with them. But if you're just posing them like this, I mean, look at Mio right here. She's looking real solid with that M4. I think you should be fine, honestly. Uh, if there are issues, the Discord will tell me. I'm asking for their feedback. I'm giving them samples, which is why we're painting all these M4s today. It's for them to sample. We're going to see how it works. They're going to test it. They're going to beta test everything. And I'm going to get feedback from them. And then we're going to go from there. But if there are issues with these M4s, they're not going to be released until later next month. Um, because I have to make sure these are durable as well as beautiful looking, collectible, and whatnot. So to do that, I need to find a mix of resins. Certain resins are good uh, when you mix them. So I'm going to try a mix if that fails. So that is the plan on that one. Anthony, thank you so much. Demon from Sun, thank you for dropping by. Can we get rocket launchers, bazookas, and RPGs? Alpha Proto, thank you for mentioning that. Um, GRG has just recently released um, RPGs. Um, I believe the Carl... The, what is it called? The one from Battlefield. The recoilless rocket launcher. He just uh, made one. So I'll see if I can make one of those. That sounds like a really good idea. Might want to make a stream of that one. That would look really sick with an olive green. Oh, yeah. That would look beautiful. Um, yeah. Alpha Proto RPG. Yes. Definitely going to happen. So let's go over the questions. I think I got over everything. Where did you get the texturing sheet? The texturing sheet. Oh, shoot. Where did I get this? <laughs> I looked forever for these. Uh, it's called a Liang Airbrush Stencil Wood Texture. These are hard to come by. I had to special order these and wait for almost two months to get mine. So I got it on an import store. I think Ami Ami has some, but I think they're sold out. You might want to check amiami.com, A-M-I-A-M-I.com. Uh, Ura also says those unpainted guns, will you give them away unpainted or at the next stream? Uh, the unpainted guns are part of the samples. These are made from a different resin. So I'm also going to give these to my Discord um, community and ask them to test it out, give them my feedback. MMA Panda says, I love giving my Marvel Legends a professional paint job. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, don't forget to finish that those Marvel Legends with a solid Mr. Hobby, super clear, flat, preferably, and it'll look even better. Zach boy, thank you. Yeah, D-Star, you always keep out doing it. Thank you. I try. I try. Uh, Blue Bomber 109, do you recommend silicone oil to loosen model? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Silicone oil. 100% silicone oil is the best. Don't use the spray stuff. The spray stuff has something called petroleum distillate, which is actually, which can actually dissolve plastic. So stay away from the spray and you should be fine. And I think we're done here. 
Uh, let's let's see. The Discord is only available to um, my customers on dstartoys.com. The easiest, most simplest way to get into the Discord is to buy Fixer or Elixir, silicone oil, and then I send you an invite card, and that's how you get in. So to get in also, if you just want to get in, I guess, you can't get in unless you message a mod, check out any of my videos and check out the link tree. There's my Discord link in that link tree. Ura, even though the acrylic top coin is still not durable. Uh, it is durable. I mean, it is durable. I mean, this stuff is not acrylic, by the way. It is, it's a really thick lacquer. Where is the droog? Let's look at the droog. It's starting to dry up now because it's hot in the garage. So there it is. Man, this droogonaut, man, it is gorgeous. Uh, it's really long too, almost too long. But the, actually, the real Druganov is actually this long. So yeah, it will add some durability in terms of scratching, paint removal. The coating will protect it from that, so it'll keep it looking new much longer. So there you have it. I used Tamiya paints. What are your thoughts on those? Um, I said it in the stream before, but I'll, I'll just say it. Again. No worries, I'll just say it again. If it's an acrylic, I don't like it. I just hate acrylics, guys. There's something about them. They're water-based, so they don't necessarily stick very well to action figures in particular. Maybe to model kits, but I always stick with a lacquer or an enamel. Those are my go-to. In fact, my entire wall of paints that are in front of me, you guys can't see it. Actually, let's see. There it is. This. All right, let me show you my wall of paints. Sure, let's just do that. Let's do it. But we got to end the stream. The, the, the camera is really heating up. So there, there it is. I have nothing but enamels and lacquers, right? I have nothing but. <laughs> and there's a good reason. Acrylics just take forever to get used to. I don't like them. They are easy, easy to remove. They're not durable. You have to do a lot, like several layers of finish to get them to stick well. Not recommended. Um, if you can get like Mr. Color or I believe even Testers makes a decent paint. My go-to is always going to be Mr. Color Moto Paints, which you can get at D-Star Toys. Um, and this paint right here is pretty darn good. You can get this one at D-Star Toys as well, which is the APS series of paints. Love these. Very good value. Very thick. Lasts a long time. That's okay, Vision Boy. I understand. Uh, bro, I've been watching you for so long. Oh, thank you. Thank you all. If any, Who has actually been here since 100 subscribers? I would like to know. <laughs> I don't think they exist anymore. Uh, but anyway. Any specific paints you do recommend? Yeah, like I said, um, Mr. Color is the one of the best. And the reason why I recommend Mr. Color is because whenever you look at a Gundam model... Uh, Gundam model, sorry. My throat's getting really dry. I, I need to end this soon. I'm, I'm running out of, of steam here. Um, whenever you look at Gundam model, in the back of the manual, you will see that the paints they recommend is Mr. Color and the mixture and the percentages that you should use to get that color. When it comes to anything Bandai, my theory, a paint theory, is, <laughs> is that they use Mr. Color on everything that they can. So that's why they always use that. They recommend that. I love these paints. They stick really well. They adhere really well. Their thinner is really good. I use Mr. Color Leveling Thinner 400, which is 400 milliliters. Highly recommend that. Um, very good, very good thinner. Um, thank you Stop Motion Saiyan for sending that email. Dio Brando, thank you for being here since 50. Got to run, Corey. Thank you for dropping by and congratulations. And, and yeah, I'm wondering who else has been here since a hundred. That's what I want to know. And if you have, <laughs> I, I'm wondering what you thought of my very first videos. They are no longer on my channel anymore. The very first videos, which we will discuss probably in a podcast or something. Uh, what happened to the old videos 
And just as a little, little, little sneak peek on that, we're going to do a podcast soon. Don't know when, but it's going to happen. Um, I was on the news falsely. We'll talk more about that later. Okay, guys, I think that's it. Thank you for dropping by. Man, I have never retained this many people on a stream before. Thank you so much for dropping by. Everyone, thank you. Congratulations Congratulations on the winner. We have Michael Dancing 05. We have Vanessa Lopez. We have Troa Space One, Corey Kakugawa, Stop Motion San, and Cass Russ, who won the very, very customized Druganov. Look at how beautiful that. Ooh, ooh. So the sexy. Ooh, nice. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time. And I will hopefully more videos will be coming soon. And love you. Bye.